Hello, ladies and gentlemen, to the next exciting episode of Harlan is in Danger. I am your host, Mitch, though you might know me as Leroy, and today I am joined, as always, with my good friend and co-host, Tom. Hello, also here. Uh, today we're going to be tackling Echoes of the Past, the third scenario in our progression challenge of the Path to Carcosa. Mm -hmm. um, little update from last game, uh, if you happen to catch it, Tom made quite the uh, escape, or escaped attempt, I should say. <laughs> I almost got away with it. I almost didn't have to learn anything, but um, a, a random dude showed up and punched me real hard, and now I have a trauma. Uh, so... <laughs> yep. And then, but uh, there were good things, too. We did manage to interview, like, almost everyone, and um, I don't think we, we really only had to kill one of them, so that was, you know, if we're playing pacifistically, that's a good win, if mm -hmm. we're... We're not, but you know, if we were, uh, <laughs> and then uh, we got we got some upgrades. We got some experience because of things. Um, I actually banked three of my experience because uh, secret reasons for later that I'll share later. <laughs> um, but then I did upgrade my physical trainings into combat trainings, mostly because I keep thinking my physical trainings are combat trainings, um, <laughs> and will let me get boosts on my agility, but also because you know, fast and one resource for. Uh, like one horror soak isn't actually that bad in this deck. <laughs> yeah, no, I think this is a really smart choice. I, I totally see the logic here because, yeah, a quick horror soak in a pinch, super helpful. And mm -hmm. and the evade, you don't need that much, but you, you might. Yeah, I've weirdly, I'm weirdly building a kind of stealthy Zoe deck because mm -hmm. I got stealth and I decided not to take it out. So who knows? Maybe I'll be doing some more evasion because that's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I just, all I did is I dumped everything into cryptic research. We decided to give you uh, the extra experience point to kind of mm -hmm. save her. Uh, and I went for cryptic research, not because I need the card draw, but because you need the card draw. So I'm hoping hey. we can pull this out and just be more of that seeker support thing. Because I think my deck is stabilized enough. So if I can just get you into a healthier position from the get-go, then that'll help me. Wow, that's really sweet of you. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. I, it's like I got two upgrades. Um, that's that's how it feels right now. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, I should be doing reading. Yeah, I'll do some reading. Go for it. I'll worry about my mulligan after I'm done reading. Okay, that goes to the past. Your head throbs with a dull ache as you drive through the rainy streets of Arkham towards your next destination. The threat of the stranger looms in your mind, and you can find yourself glancing often at your rearview mirror, expecting to see the expressionless visage of his mask haunting you. Instead, you see nothing but the misty, starless night, and the deserted road behind you. Your thoughts once again wander, as they have often in the past few hours, to the King in Yellow, and to the city of Carcosa and its inhabitants. What was the message hidden inside that awful play? The meaning within its madness? A lone detail worms its way to the forefront of your thoughts, one made apparent by the discussions you'd overheard at Miss Dumaine's estate. That tonight's performance in the, the King in Yellow was not the first Arkham had seen of the foul play. There had been at least one other performance directed by the same man, Nigel Ingram. There is one place in Arkham where records are often kept of important events occurring within the city, the Historical Society's Manor House in Southside. If there are any records of the previous show of the King in Yellow, the Historical Society may have held on to them. Perhaps there you will find answers to the questions that burn in your mind. Uh, then because we interviewed Sebastian, you recall what Sebastian told you during the dinner party. The King in Yellow had come to Arkham several dec decades ago, long before the Ward Theater was built. According to him, it isn't surprising that few people remember. In fact, Part of their goal tonight was to bring the King in Yellow to a wider audience. The Historical Society may have kept records pertaining to this early reproduction, especially if it was followed by events similar to what has occurred tonight. Perhaps you can find some newspaper clippings or other articles describing what happened in the past. And because of that, we put two clues on our location. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I I don't really remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, oh, yeah, the other thing we should note is um, because we 
uh, fled the dinner party, we start with an extra action. Yep. Yeah, so we're a little early. That's nice. Uh, yeah, should I go ahead? I'm going to... Oh. Yeah, I'm going to do my mulligan if you want. Go ahead and read. Okay. Agenda one. The truth is hidden. Surprisingly, the front doors of the historical society's Gregorian Manor are cracked halfway open when you arrive. Who else could be here at this hour? Do not add doom to this agenda during the mythos phase. Forced after one or more clues are placed on an enemy in play, flip those clues to their doom side. And Act 1 reads, Race for Answers. Each of the hysterical society's many rooms contain records and documents that may aid you in your search for answers about the king in yellow. There must be something here that can guide you toward the truth. Two clues per investigator to advance. Hmm... Hey, there's two clues here. That's that's half <laughs> of what we need. Oh, how convenient. Yeah, that is convenient. Um, um, I think I'm ready to go. Yeah, I think me too. These guys don't hit very big, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I'll go first. I, I think I'm just going to start booking it towards that man. I see a man, and I want to kill him. So. Okay. First action is going to be play a machete. Boop, boop, boop. Second action, I'll move up here. No clues in here, uh, but it's connected to each other's second floor location. Um, and then as an action, if each location is revealed and there are no clues in play, place two clues on the quiet halls from the token bank. Second action, I'll move up here. Same thing, but uh, the third floor. And then the third action, I'll move into here. This guy has a loop, so he does not engage me. Uh, Historical Society Library is a three shroud four clue location after you successfully investigate this location take two horror and discover one clue at this location as a reaction limit once per round that's handy yeah okay okay i am going to pop four and throw it down good old broken milan uh for a first action and then i'm going to investigate kick things off with a plus one <laughs> Yay! Wow! So that first token pull of the game, nice. <laughs> yeah, that means I'm five six to two. I definitely succeed by two or more and get both clues. Uh, all right, that is quite the start. So let's see. Wow. Should I search the bottom floor? I feel like I should a little bit, right? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Uh, I think actually first what I'll do is pop out field work to see mm. if I can't leverage that a little bit. And then the last thing I want to do draw two because if I move I lose the field work buff. Is so, it just this turn or does it stack? Ah, uh, uh, this phase. You get, yeah, this phase. Well, you perform this phase. I suppose... Well, no, it's the phase. It won't help me in Mythos, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think... I don't know. I, I sort of sabotaged myself because I have a fourth action now. <laughs> I don't know what to do with <laughs> You <laughs> could gain a resource or move up to the quiet hall's second floor and then just investigate the second floor. Well, I, I guess I just want to know if there's clues down here, so maybe I'll just move anyways and check out a location. Maybe I'll be surprised. Your cannot be modified. Okay, well, there's clues, oh, but there's really nothing else here. No VP, so I probably don't care. Okay. Hey, and that also field work cannot be, wouldn't even work on this location, so... Oh, fancy that, yeah. Look at that, yeah. All right. Upkeep. Okay. There we go. There you are. There it is. All right. No, this doomed. does not get a doom. No doom. Uh, you get a doom. But that's at the end, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bad card for me is a man. All right, I'm going to put you there and put a doom on you, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see, the cult search. 
There's a cultist in play with Doom on it. Move all Doom from each cultist enemy to the current agenda. Okay, if there are no cultist enemies in play. Alright, so they add one Doom to the agenda. I'll go ahead and add that for you. Uh, no, it just moves the... There's a Doom right on this guy, on the Acolyte. Doesn't it just take that Doom? Yeah, it does, or... but... I wasn't sure if I could move it across, but yeah, there we go. That's I see. Fine. I see. And then this guy grabs a clue, right? Yeah, and now this guy grabs, grabs a clue, and we're at two Doom. So, yeah, the cool idea behind this scenario is that the cultists are running around, and they're taking our clues and turning it into Doom, which, for whatever reason, when I first played this scenario, I found that to be the most confusing thing in the rules text ever, and then when I was driving home after like playing it with my family, I was like, oh, they're just taking clues. They're like investigators. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that t was like so hard for me to grasp, but eventually I got it. <laughs> uh, at least you got there eventually. That's good. All right. I am ready to go. Okay. Same. Game plan. Um, do you want to go first or do you want me to? I think it's my, my turn's pretty self explanatory if you're still thinking. Yeah, go for it. All right, I engage. I gain resource. I kill. Uh, <laughs> I go five to two. Yeah, it's fine. Minus two, you'll take two damage. I'll do it again. Five to two. Oh, hey, it's dead. That's me. Okay. Well, these clues... Actually, okay. yeah. Yeah, that's me. That's all. That's all. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not doing anything fancy. Okay. Uh, do I waste an action trying to get this clue, or do I just move on? I don't really know how many clues I need. Four. Well, I know I need four, but I don't have to <laughs> take these, for example. Uh, I guess I'll see if I can't well i'm not likely to get both this is like burn through your actions yeah. to get them no i think you just i think you just go to the other one and then maybe trigger your field work and see if you can do um yeah let's just get go to big there and go home. So let's run over here what do we got Exhaust an ally to discover a clue at this location oh no one's around all right well hey that's easy um so you have field work for this one. Oh, you have to exhaust it yeah or i could chance it to try to grab both which I could boost myself go six. I mean, you should exhaust field work regardless. This is your last action, right? Yeah, it just may not do anything. Then you're going seven to four. I could go seven to four. Yeah, I suppose I'll get a resource out of it with Milan. Minus two. Okay. That's so, a yeah. clue and a resource. Yeah. Clue and a resource. Yeah. So that's ultimately a little better. All right. Cool. Upkeep it is. You were not. Oh God! <laughs> I forgot to take these out again. <laughs> There's just this, the haunting blackjacks. <laughs> these are forty fives. I swear. They're possessed. <laughs> I thought I did it. I thought I changed it. Oh God! Uh, after this game, I'm gonna have to make you sure to that this gets <laughs> resolved. It's okay. I understand. I'm not doing very good at at this. Okay. <laughs> Here's some, here's some 45s go in my hand get shuffled into my deck oh god oh we didn't do the uh, the monsters either oh crap oh you're right okay let's do it now no monsters we're no good. monsters okay <laughs> but that also means uh we have this guy that's right there we go we have Sucks. so many things we're supposed to remember to do we were talking before that we started recording like oh yeah what are we supposed to talk about and totally <laughs> based on like the the actual campaign or the progression style stuff of this so oh, yeah well. and i remember thinking about it last game too just being like oh there's a lot to keep track of like <laughs> so we're gonna have to set aside some kind of plan so we can keep up with this stuff a little bit yeah. i feel yeah oh well okay uh and that was that was upkeep okay there we go so mythos so there's not a myth there's not a doom there because we don't place doom on mythos right. this time okay and my card is a man. Wizard of oh, the man. Water. Okay. Ah, crap. Oh, wait. There is no doom. There is no doom. 
So you just so you can kind of take a discard pile for cult of and draw it. So uh, maybe you want to decide what you want. Give me, give me boys, give me sweet culty boys. Oh god, there's not a lot of great options. I guess I just grab this guy. Sure, I could probably punch him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's only got a health, and I have uh, field work to, to to kind of resolve that. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I'm realizing like the lost doom on this guy means uh, it's just kind of it's a weird it's a weird situation I'm in, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let me go first to see if I can't make something novel happen. One, two. Oh, get control of this guy. So this is a three or two, but I can exhaust fuel work to go. Uh, There's no clues on that location. Oh, wait, this oh, is not wait. a good idea. This is a bad idea. This is a bad plan. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Back, <laughs> We're trapped. Back, back. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> I'll go first. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Should I? Oh, no, but you're stuck down there now because that stupid guy. Yeah, there's no clues there. Maybe just don't put him there. Yeah, I'll just put him in a room. Throw him in a room, yeah. Because at least if he's in a room, I can go and... Uh, can you take out Wizard of the Order this round? I think so, yeah. Okay. All right, um, why don't you go not... first to see oh, if you wait, can yeah, do that. Oh, wait, yeah, I have yeah. to take him out this round. Okay, crap. Uh, that, gets a little, that gets a little spookier, but I think I can do it. Yeah, I think I can do it. Okay. Um, so we're going to fast shortcut into this location. Hello. Or... No, better. I'll move into that location. This guy will engage me. I'll get a resource. Nope, I have to do this way. Yeah, fast shortcut in. I have a machete. <laughs> Machetes. That's right. Yeah. Um, and then we'll just swing five to three. Oh, I'll get a resource for engaging him. Okay, I think in that case, we're going to fast put out combat training. We might lose it, but yeah. Then we'll go five to three. We'll go six to three with the machete for our first action. Okay. That's two. Okay, that guy's dead. Down. Um. Second action will move in here. Oh, and you're supposed to reveal the locations when enemies spawn at them. That's right. Each enemy at this location gets plus one fight and plus one evade. Groovy. Oh, <laughs> All right. Freaking uh, fight. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um. So then I will. Last action swing at him is with this as well. So I'm going five to five, six to five, seven, eight, nine to five. Spend all our money. Oh, I get a resource for engaging him now. Nine to five. Minus two. He's dead. Okay, cool. Nice work. Thanks. I approve. <laughs> Watching from a distance. <laughs> Yeah, actually, fun fact, are these connected? Yeah, these two are connected, so I'm actually going to... Probably could have done that a little more optimally, but... Hey, connections. I like draw a connector. You can do stuff. I'm going to just see if I can figure out how to... Oh, yeah, they're hmm? connected in a very peculiar manner. Rotate? <laughs> Not exactly sure how to do this. There's a path here. <laughs> Wait, are, is it not back? It doesn't go back. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother with this. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Let's see. I gotta run upstairs now. Or uh, I well, I suppose I should get that clue before I leave. You can just exhaust Milan. You're probably not gonna be investigating anyways. Yeah. All right. So I'll just exhaust Milan and grab that last clue. So I've got enough clues to advance, but I kind of think something bad happens when I do that, so maybe we want to wait. We can wait oh. till the beginning of next turn, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, neat. Hmm. Hmm. Still gotta okay. identify this thing. Well, I, actually, I've identified it. I just need to upgrade it. Okay. Uh, so bad card, card is a phonetic revealed location with the most clues mm, is this one this one yeah that's bad for machetes oh boy it's not great <laughs> um i can field work the acolyte though 
Yeah, there are clues there, importantly. There's another uh, one. You can, put him, you can put him at the other one, the other historical library. Oh, well, if they both have three clues, can't they? Oh, no, he just took one, that's why. Yeah, he just takes one, yeah. Okay. Oops. Oh, crap. Clue back. Doom there. Okay. There we go. All right, we need to kill something. We need to kill at least one something this <laughs> round. <laughs> so Okay. Um, let's should we just advance and see what hell we are facing? Yeah, you know, the power mask is not in play. I do not take it <laughs> for swearing. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, let's good. do that. My, my, yeah. Might as well. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> late night studies. You find a record kept by one of the society's historians pertaining to the dreadful events surrounding the closing of an old theater in Arkham, the Cedar Playhouse. Though there is no explicit mention of the King in Yellow, you believe you are on the right track. The historian's notes are cut short, and there is a faded, handwritten page clipped to the final entry. This matter is too ghastly for the public eye. I am placing the remainder of this record in the hidden library. All further inquiries should be done away from prying eyes, for this is a dangerous matter. And thou, one, oh, and no one, and not one to be researched lightly. For each revealed historical society location, add two clues to it. To a Done. maximum of its clue value. Sheesh. Okay. Act two. Mistakes of the past. Somewhere in the manor is a hidden library where you might be able to find more information about the king in yellow. You must find the way in if you are to continue your investigation. Another four clues to advance. So it just repopulated every every area. So that's the thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So I think I can kill two of these guys. Um, and then just take a hit from one of them. So why? Oh wait, no. no Do you need me to kill the acolyte, the pathetic one? I think I just need to kill one, and I really just need to take a second. Ugh, I can't play this goddamn card. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need the bell mask is not in play. It's fine. He's not in play. Swear away. <laughs> uh, um, I really just, I really just want to play a. a a different card but we're just getting swarmed with enemies i think i just gotta go and keep slashing like this is you're just on a rampage one, just hacking people I think I just up got a rampage. Library. this is <laughs> i would like to you know take some time and calm myself and maybe i don't know do, do, do play some assets but <laughs> i just don't have the time i have there's too many people that need killing you know yeah i mean when the blood they comes, keep, home. they keep just they keep just like jumping out of in in the place I just was. So I'll move here. I'll move here. <laughs> Give me a resource, <laughs> and then die. Um, we're just gonna go five to three. Uh, I, need to, I need to succeed. I need to succeed. So we'll go six to three. Uh, You're getting your money back from the engagement, so it's not hindering you yeah, that much. Yeah, I think I guess I think I just go 7 to 3. This one I need to work, so. Skull is the highest amount of demon, so minus 1. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. That's me. Um, I guess you should probably just be getting clues, honestly. If you go in there, you will take some damage. I don't know if you're too scared of that. The thing the other thing is if you go in there, um you'll have I won't be able to swing with a machete as easily. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. I can... Because I can go 6 to 3 on the Acolyte, but then I'm kind of spent. Yeah. So... I guess you could try and evade the other guy. I should have played that. But then he's just back on you, and you're only going like 3 to 3. So uh, I think I think you should just go grab for, go for clues, and I'll, I'll deal with these fellers. All right, go for broke. Moving in. What do we got? The Historical but, Museum. Uh, another one of these that like, can't be modified. Hey, they're connected. Uh, where? The Historical Society Museum. The one right below it. These these two. Okay. And then these two. It's like okay. an S. Gotcha. Well, I'm <laughs> a dollar here... Cent. My intellect can't be modified, so even if I commit cards, I don't get anything from it. Is that what it's telling me? Like, 
nothing. I I believe that's what it says. Yes. Okay. It says well, it cannot be modified. Yeah. I am two up, and that's the most popular token right now is minus two. So let's just go for a second one. Up oh, minus <laughs> three, of course. Oh, nice. Uh, you said. All right, this location sucks. I don't want this one. I'm just leaving. Try a different <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Frowny face for the minus three. <laughs> all right, all right. I will get clues. I just I need a different location, not that one. Sure. I'm a bit of a prima donna, as you can tell. All right. Um. Well, I drew my weakness, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need war enemies, and they need to be smote. <laughs> um. I think I did save. Yeah, I did. I saved you for this exact exact purpose, my friend. Oh, very nice. Okay. Um, and he'll hunt, so too, so that's good. So you don't have to rush down there. Far this location is going to be one of these two. So I think I'll put him at the one that you don't like. Yeah. Okay. Now I just got to make sure that I'm prepared for when I, our eventual meeting. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. Oh, except he's you're his prey because it's most clues. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. We can play around that. Yeah, maybe go and check out the upper stories. Maybe that's the play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got to draw. Oh no, we, I have to draw my bad card. That's not my bad yeah. card. This is my bad card. It's a peril. Led astray. Shoot. Uh, I don't have any clues, so I think we just advance. Uh, let me think. Hold on a moment. It's it's peril. There's I I can't do anything. No, no, but this. um, when you put a doom there, uh, it so says this it, may cause the current. So it damage. checks. Yeah. Is that what it's doing? It's gonna do another. Yeah, check. it's saying. Okay. Yeah, it's saying that this this can cause it. All right, so it's an so, ancient evils. Yep. And we advance. Okay. Uh, well, good news is there's a lot less pressure <laughs> for dark. me to kill those guys. <laughs> yeah. Dark ritual. A phrase in a language you cannot describe whispers through the building. Without warning, all the electric lights shatter at once. You light a nearby candle and continue your search. The building is quite different once plunged into darkness. Shadows and silhouettes dance along the walls. Crevices you hadn't noticed before draw you wary eye. What other secrets does this building hold? Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. <clears throat> and then agenda two reads, Ransacking the manor. Though the whispering has ceased, the sounds of rummaging and furniture shifting is unmistakable. Whoever is here, they're searching just as thoroughly as you are. Same as before, for Doom to advance, but we don't add Doom. And my evil card is to place two Doom on the nearest cultist enemy. <laughs> okay. Good. 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 Um, <laughs> you put, put it on the Acolyte. I can just, I can, the Acolyte's basically dead already, so... Just I doesn't think know you've got yet. control of him, so I'll let you do that. Okay. He looks kind of like a Palpatine, doesn't he? Ugh. He's he's a little he's a little Palpatine. -y. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm after clues. I gotta get moving. What what are you gonna do? I'm going to destroy, um, as I as I am wont to do. Do you want me in that room with you, the hyster no. hysterical library? I don't want you to witness this. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be bloody. <laughs> uh, I would love to go first, though, if that's okay. Yeah. All right. I will spend all my resources that I have so I beat Cop. Mm, sorry. And then I will move in here. Beat Both of these friends will engage me. I will gain two resources because friends give me money. Um, and I will fast damage beat cop to destroy this friend. Nice. And I have one action left, which I will use to uh, teach this man uh, a machesson, which is a machete <laughs> lesson. So I'm going six to three, and I'm just going to take it, I think. Yeah, nice. Yeah, d dead guy. Very nice. As always, just on a roll, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Oh, this is free now. Well, I'm going to throw down the good old mag glass and then pop mm. into your location. Uh, There's no one here, just me. 
exhaust field work. Hello, friend. Hello. Um, so I'm actually, I've got a lot of intellect now. I'm four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to three. What the hey? Let's go nine to three with a quick thinking. Elder sign. <laughs> All right. You wanna so fail? you want to fail? <laughs> no, I'll keep it. I get my action back. I'll get a clue plus an extra clue because I'm Rex. And a resource from Milan. And a resource from Milan. And then, after you successfully investigate, I can take two horror, discover a clue here. Uh, two horror for one clue? That's a pretty rough rate. Yeah. I don't know about that. I got my action back, so I think I'm content to just basic investigate at this point. Let's try again. Okay. Uh, That's four, zero. Six to you succeed zero. by two again. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a cheat. He's actually succeeded by three. That's right, sorry. Um, I don't think I'll trigger, because, you know, it's a little, it's a little cheap. It's a little. I don't mind. Yeah. Take my last action, dude, just grab it. The good sure. old-fashioned way. You did Six it. Six to three, you got it. Okay. All right. All right, the agent of the king. Uh, I'm going to move him up to this location, because you also don't like that one. Yeah. Nice. No doom. No doom. Evil cards. Plus lead. Oh boy. Dirge. No, it's not the. It's the other one that sucks. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> to let astray. If there's a way I, I could really, just give you a clue. This would be a lot easier. I really. I really need to get a clue. Yeah, this is not going my way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hunting shadow. Spend a clue or take two damage. Um, I'm not hurting, but honestly, I think I will spend one clue, just because it's easy enough to get clues back. Mm-hmm. No, this way we don't have to worry about my health pool. Yeah, that makes sense. Or actually, you know what? I've got the strange solution. I can just take the two damage. Yeah, I'm just going to take the two damage now that I think about it, because I can just take a swig of this and heal that right off. That's hey, bad. there we go. Yeah, I was wondering what to do with my last action, so perfect. Let me go first, then. Go for it. I'm going to play some clothes for my well, first action. Uh, are you going to leave, oh, actually, or no? No, I'm going to stay here. Okay. Across from my second action, then I'll heal you for my last action. Oh. Oh, nice. Thank you. Yep. <clears throat> Got that cross. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I should just advance us. Oh, sure, yeah. I guess you can do that, too. I think that's what I do, because <laughs> right. I don't really have anything else to do with these clues. I, I mean, yeah. I could refill my hand. Actually, yeah, okay, I'll spend one. Here, let's do this. Before I do that... Uh, nice. And I'll draw four cards. Three, four. Let's do a bit of setup, shall we? Sounds good. Second action... I'm going to throw down Broken Pathfinder. What is that? Three? Okay. And then... I So I was trying to get the thing to help you get cards, but it didn't show up. It's okay. So I'm going to throw something else down. I think I might like a bit of fine clothes as well. Yeah, decent. It's decent soak. Okay. All right. That's me. Enemy phase. He's gonna, he's gonna move here. The fool. And we'll keep. Okay. I almost said it was nice not to have a weakness around, but here we are. All right. No doom. No doom. For each cultist enemy in play, uh, move one clue from that enemy's location to that enemy until the end of the round. Each cultist enemy gets plus one fight each clue and or doom on it no clues are moved against search okay yeah there's no clues on his location so yeah i'll have to search <sighs> if there is a coldest enemy in play with doom on it we've all doomed to the agenda if there are none search the encounter deck for a coldest enemy and draw it okay uh how do you feel about field work in one of the mac lights i can do that 
Just put them in a location with clues. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, I want to go upstairs. Okay. Your bad card. Uh, fanatic. Well, there's two up there now. <laughs> okay. So maybe we're both headed in that direction. I really want to kill this guy. He's wicked. He's wicked. I gotta smite him. So he stole a clue. Mm -hmm. He is wicked, yeah. Smiting must be done. I mean... No, I guess I don't do that. <laughs> I guess I go kill him. Fine. Here, do you want me to advance us first? Um. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Okay. So, and then we'll flip. Uh, if I can... Oh, you have control, that's why. Okay. Secret passageways. As you rummage through a desk drawer, you are startled when you hear a voice behind you. Excuse me, can I help you? You are relieved to find the voice belonging to a thin, elderly man wearing wide-rimmed glasses, a member of the Hysterical Society, no doubt. You explain to him that you are searching for a hidden library somewhere in the manor, though you purposely leave out why. He introduces himself as Mr. Peabody, the Hysterical Society's curator. I'll help you find what you're looking for, he explains, but only if you tell me what this is all about once we get there. You hope it doesn't come to that. For each revealed Hysterical Society location, add two clues to it to a maximum of its clue value. Choose an investigator to take control of the set-aside Mr. Peabody asset. Uh, put the set aside hidden library location into play. Act three reads the oath. This building is very old and filled with all manner of secret passageways, Mr. Peabody explains. Perhaps one of them will lead you lead to this library you're looking for. Locations with the passageway tree are connected to one another. Objective. Only investigators in the hidden library may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance, and we need six. And this is Peabody. So one of us one of us needs to take control of Mr. Peabody. Well, he gets the minus one shroud effect, so shouldn't that be me? Yeah, it should be you. But he has an ally. Uh, he takes up an ally slot, so you're going to lose Milan, Bye, sadly. Milan. That's Bye, okay. Milan. Fare thee and well. His historical society is... Well, an enemy is moving and gains the passageway trade, so... Uh, how um, do I get in there? You have to... Um, I have to exhaust Mr. Peabody and then walk in. Is that how it works? I think so. Yeah, locations with the passageway trader connected to one another. Okay. Um, so you can use Mr. Peabody or you can use like this downstairs meeting hall or... Can I use this location? Oh, well, this already has the passageway straight, so I can just walk in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all three of these do. Okay. Okay, so... But the that's hidden library is on this side. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. It's fine there. Oh, uh, yeah. So, do I go and do that and let, leave you to fight these guys? Um, or do you need me to go kill somebody first? Or So, okay, here is what needs to happen. Uh, I need to go kill these guys, and then I need him to hunt to me. So I need to have the most clues at the end of the round. <laughs> um, okay. So how are we going to deal with that? Oh, because otherwise he'll could... find me? Yeah, he'll go to you. Well, I guess that's fine, because I can just go down. No, 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 this doesn't have the passageway trait, right? While an enemy is moving, hidden library gains a passageway trait. This does not, though. So, yeah, I have a run uh, before he gets there. He, so, the, the hidden library doesn't have the passageway trait, so you do have to use Mr. Peabody. I can get one clue, also. Oh, okay. I should, I should start with that. I can definitely get one clue. Uh, well, here's the thing. When I go in there, I'm getting those clues. It's going to be yeah. like a complete massacre of cluing, as opposed to macheting. But it's okay. a clue lesson, a clue and a lesson. There's a better, there's a less clunky way to do that. There is a much lesson. less one, but it was me coming up with it, not you. So that's why it was the way that it was. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Fair. Okay. Um, I'm down right. to just kill a turn too and help out if that's what you need. Yeah, because prey only matters if we're equidistant. Okay. Let me see. I think I can do this where I get a clue as well. So maybe that's all we need. Um, so I'll move in here, make some friends. 
Extort Extort those friends for money. (laughs) And then get rid of one of those friends for money. Bash his head with a cross. Yep. (laughs) Um, And then use some money to get a clue. Nice. Um, That was a twirling twist of actions. Yeah. And then I think I just machete this guy. So I'm going six to three, and I think I just take it. Six to three is good. Yeah, I think I just. There's only one him. minus four in the auto fail, so you've you've only got two. Yeah. There you go. He's he's dead. Tablet. He's dead. Yeah. And then what are you gonna do for your final action? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> I think I do kind of want to stay here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I fine. think I stay here. So because you're going to the hidden library, right? Yeah. Okay, then I will take a resource for my last action. So uh, he's going to head towards, well, I guess either one of us if I move. So let's do that. I'm going to exhaust Peabody for my first action. Uh, I'm going to give the hidden hidden library that trait, and then I will exhaust Pathfinder and move in there. Uh, And it has minus one shroud as well right now. Okay. That's right, and it's got six clues. This is a very rare location, and then it has a crap ton of clues. I'll exhaust and two victory, <clears throat> and two victory. Yeah. So uh, let's see. I have four, five, six, seven, uh, seven to three, seven to three, eight, nine, ten to three. Minus one's two clues. Nice. Okay. And then so I Peabody I investigated. <clears throat> I think I just brute force this next clue. Mm-hmm. Uh f- five five to three. Two up. Let's go three up. Minus one, didn't need to do that, but we get the clue. So now it's just three left. I should be able to get them next round. Nice. All right, enemy phase. This is the closest passageway and you're his prey, so that's that. Well, if he's going to hunt, uh, it's only if he has, to, like, right now, he would attack me. But, like, the last one, he would have gone after, like, whoever's closest. Prey only yeah, matters yeah. if he has an equal option, so... Well, yeah, but when it's moving, it has the passageway. So there, were, you were two away. I was two away. He would yeah. have chosen you, but it didn't really make a difference. I would have l- rather him go into like the quiet halls, though. So, oh, I don't know why. That's actually totally unnecessary, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so no doom gets pushed on the agenda, right? Yep, yeah, got it. Oops. And then, oh no, our one doom. I got it. All right, and then my bad guy is Hunting Shadow. I will spend a clue. <laughs> <laughs> easy come, easy go. Yeah. Locked door. Uh, location can be on my first. location. Yep, let's choose your location. That lucked out. Nice, okay. Just don't get up to any funny business investigating for clues. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I would love to go first because this man is wicked and he's lived for too long. All right, All right I will move move in here. He'll engage me. Uh, I gain a resource and then I'll immediately spend that resource. Uh, use my cross on him. Um, and then we will use a beat cop. And then we'll second action attack him, I guess, with the machete. So we're going six to four. We go seven to four with resource and eight to four with this taunt. Oh, of course. All right. Auto fail. Uh, We'll do it for our last action as well. So six to four. We'll go seven to four with resource. I feel lucky. That's a dead man. Get into the shadows. Do you belong in the, the darkness. Shadow. All right, that's me. Two VP. That's good. I was wondering what I was going to do with my last action, anyways. So. Mhm. All right. Well, I'm going to investigate. 
Let's see. <laughs> no, sorry. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Uh, let's see. And two, three, four. That puts me four up. Mm. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go five up. Minus four. Dang. So that's only one. Ah. So let's try again. This time I'll throw the unexpected courage in. Actually, and you know what? I have five, six, seven to four. Seven, let me make that eight to four. Now if I get minus two, I'm good, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, then I'm gonna play Dark Prophecy and reveal five tokens. Here we go. Uh, okay, and I will resolve... Well, I guess I can't choose the Elder Sign, right? No. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll just do a Skull, though, and get both. Nice. Hey, you want to advance? Yeah. Because all the wicked folks here are dealt with, so for the first time, there's no enemies on the board. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll just advance. Okay, the clasp. As you study the hidden library, you find a few pieces of information that stand out. As with recent production, the previous performance of the King in Yellow came to Arkham from overseas and was performed by a French acting trope. You don't recognize any of the cast members' names, and of course the actor who played the role of the stranger is anonymous. However, it seems that a member of the Hysterical Society has done some of your work for you. There are several old newspaper clippings gathered together along with information about the play. Headlines include Cedar Playhouse Closes Due to Fire, Experts Baffled Over Freak Floods, and the like. Hidden among this information, you also find a strange object, a clasp of onyx with an alien inscription. The investigators must decide choose one. This is an important discovery. We should take it R1 or... It's just a silly trinket, and it would be wrong to steal from the hysterical society. Leave it behind. R2. Oh, so this is the end. Mm. Goodness. <clears throat> yep, that was a quick one. Uh, I don't want it. <laughs> this, this Isn't looks, it just bad? This, this looks decidedly pagan, and I'm pretty sure it's just bad. <laughs> it's decidedly pagan. <laughs> uh... Yes, I see that. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, I think I'm in agreement. I don't know if I have a justification that Rex would take it. He might snap like a photo or something and write it down, but I don't know if he would be... He's He might see this as theft. So, yeah. All right. R2 it is. All right. The investigation... This investigation would make anybody paranoid. Attributing some greater meaning to everything you find can be a dangerous proposition. You're sure that this clasp is meaningless, perhaps even a prop from the original play. You leave it behind and continue your investigation. The last record you find related is related to the original protection of the King in Yellow is a psychiatric evaluation of one Daniel Chesterfield, a stagehand who lost his wits after the final show. It seems he was admitted to the asylum after the production ended. Perhaps he's still there. In your campaign log, record you left the class of Onyx behind and mark one doubt in your campaign log. Uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display, which is, I think, just three. Uh, the Hidden Library and the Agent of the King. So, yep, just three, I guess. Sebastian okay. Monroe, Savage Hysteria in the victory display. No. Nope. Okay. Remove tokens and add Elder Things. Elder thing. Three XP, that's it. Ouch. Wow, we're really tough break. Not having the achievements be easy in this one is uh it's not fun. Oh, did we make any of the achievements actually? I didn't even look. Oh crap. Oh god, do we have achievements? Look at that, I saw out of sorts today. Wow, we're really not doing great. It's fine. <laughs> uh oh, add the hidden library to that picture display. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so that makes it four. Four it is! Four! <laughs> did the challenge! Hooray, that already gave us two victory. Whatever! <laughs> I'm good. I'm taking it. I need yeah. that XP. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I could use it. I'm in. Boop. Go on there. I can't take control of that. Alright, whatever. Alright. <clears throat> 
Well, I guess we will call it there. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, thank you for sticking with us. It's uh, We're still a long way ahead of you, so if we haven't responded too much yet, it's just because uh, we're much, much further ahead. I think you guys are still watching like early Dunwich episodes, but um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, please comment, like, and subscribe if you have anything uh, that you'd like to chat about. We're all ears. And uh, we will see you next time in... Ooh, what is the next scenario called? Oh, God. Uh, the Unspeakable O, right? Sure. Unspeakable Yeah, that's o. the one. I did it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you think they know, they're noticing that we don't like Tarkos that much? <laughs> <laughs> they're probably catching on pretty soon, yep. <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. <laughs> yep. See you next time. <laughs> See you then.